Hello, my friend, my name is Matt from Best Friends Club. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can effortlessly extract vocal stems from a recording when a vocalist sends you a recording over that might have a bunch of noise or is simply mixed improperly. This is super powerful because you'll have clean and professional vocal stems that you can use in your projects. You'll have a tool in your toolkit that you can use to easily repair any audio whenever you get something sent over your way that might sound a little dodgy or imperfect. And this can also make your collaboration process a lot smoother since you're not gonna have to ask vocalists for new takes and to do a bunch of different back and forth. You can simply use what you're gonna learn in this video to clean up and repair your audio recordings. And thankfully, there are only three simple steps. You're just gonna have to upload your audio to lala.ai. Then you're gonna choose the stem separation algorithm that is most appropriate for the job. And then third, you just have to export your files out put it in your DAW and do a little bit of cleanup in that side as well. In this example, we're going to be working on a collaboration that I was been working on with a couple of really cool artists from Philadelphia, Zach Adam and John Alpine. And we also sent it over to a really, really awesome vocalist named Foz. And what's kind of interesting about this whole story here is we worked on the track together while in Philadelphia and later sent over the recording to Foz. Foz added some really, really awesome vocal takes over top of it. However, when she sent it back, this is like pretty adorable. I remember she said something along the lines of, I might have applied the filter to the entire track. And you'll hear it soon, but when playing it back, it's super, super cute that she did this. She actually added some like reverb and delay, not just to her voice, but to the entire master track. So her voice is nestled in all in one recording and there's delay and reverb on not just her voice, but also on the entire mix as well. So. Thankfully, we're going to be able to use Lala to extract the vocal out of there so we can clean it up and then put it into the mix properly. And before we jump into this, if you'd like to get started with separating vocals yourself using Lala and the magic of AI, make sure you head up the link in the description or visit Lala.ai where you can sign up, get started with all this and actually start extracting not just vocals, but all sorts of different stems from individual audio recordings. So with that said, let's jump into this. Okay, so first let's take a listen to the actual audio that we'll be extracting. Then we're gonna actually be able to extract this vocal and then put it into the actual mix and really take things to the next level. So let's go ahead and give you a little preview of what this sounds like. So as you can hear there, her voice sounds absolutely beautiful, but it is a little bit funky having all the delay and reverb on the rest of the track. So what we're going to do is grab this file. We're going to throw it into Lala and extract the vocals so that we can actually take this project to the next level. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is head over to Lala.ai. This is where we're going to be able to upload our audio file and separate the vocal from the rest of the instrumental so we can take that vocal and actually work with it in our project. So once we are here, what we're going to want to do is open up our finder so we can get our song that we are going to want to extract the vocal from and then simply grab it and drag it and then kind of drop it right over onto there. What it's going to do is now upload that file to Lala servers where we'll be able to process it with the AI that they have to do all the cool vocal separating. So let's just wait for that to upload. Sweet. So once it's done uploading, it will then start processing the actual file and generating the preview so that we can actually listen to it back right from the website itself. Awesome. So once the previews are ready, you're going to be able to choose the stem separation type that you'd like to the basically the different AI algorithm. You have the option to choose from vocal instrumental. If you just want to take out the drums, just take out the bass to separate voice from noise, or if there's a certain instrument that you want to take out from the audio file, you can select your option here. In this particular example, we definitely want to separate the vocal and the instrumental. So we already have that selected and we can now preview these. So let's go ahead and listen to what the vocal sounds like on its own. All I see is your face. All I see is your face. All I see is Awesome. So clearly that's nicely separated. We'll definitely be able to take things to the next level in the post-processing bit in a moment. But before doing that, let's go ahead and also go ahead and listen to the instrumental by itself as well. Yes. 
So there it is. And it's nice and reverbery and delay goodness. Uh, you can't hear the vocal at all in that one, which is cool. So once you are ready, you've selected your AI algorithm, your stem separation type, and you've previewed everything and you're happy how things are sounding. All we have to do is process the entire file and we'll actually be able to download the wave files and then import them into our project, which is what we're going to do next. Awesome. So now we are in the actual Ableton project file. So I think one of the first things I want to do is just kind of show you what the, the track sounds like without all that delay and reverb on it. This is kind of what the main drop sounds like. <laughs> Cool. So you, as you can hear, there's a lot less delay and reverb. Love your fuzz, but <laughs> that definitely kind of feeling this this mix a bit more. Jumping into getting those vocals separated and added into this file. Um, again, always starting off with loading the vocal track and the instrumental track into Ableton. Again, Ableton is much much better at automatically finding the warp markers and setting the right BPM right off the gate. So it's a lot easier to get things going but it is nice to have them both in here. So we'll go ahead and listen to this. I'm just gonna drop the volume of the instrumental track because it's a little bit unpleasant to listen to, but this is kind of what it sounds like together. All I see is your face, yeah, yeah. All I see off the instrumental. Is your face, yeah, yeah. All I see is your face, yeah. Much nicer. So this one was super easy to do in terms of setting the timing correctly. Just had to drop it in and Ableton actually picked this one up right away, which was absolutely fantastic. So moving into how we nestled it into the actual track, let's go ahead and actually just listen to that to start. So here is the isolated vocal um, with the in the context of the rest of the track, starting off at the intro. All I see is your face. So you can hear quite a difference there already. Uh, I just want to jump it over to, I think it's the break into the drop as well. So you can hear a bit of um, other parts of the isolated vocal in the rest of the mix. <laughs> So sounds amazing and I clearly wanted to show you Foz's beautiful, beautiful harmonies there too. Uh, it came out much nicer once we've used Lala to extract them here. So I'll just show you briefly some of the processing that was done to this one. So here we have the stem box that I've called it and there's not much going on. I always have this channel strip that I have attached to every single one of my tracks. And so we're just cutting out a bunch of the lows, left the highs intact. Something that I had to do here was adjust the uh, transient designer. So I'll just pop that open because I'm not sure if I've shown this in a tutorial before. The attack is is routed to this knob here and the sustain is routed to this knob here. And then I have it set to turn off and on because I feel like if it's on, even if it's not doing anything, it might be messing with stuff. So to just kind of make it true bypass, I have a switch here. So I turned it on and I really just kind of drove down the sustain uh, to try to get rid of some of the excess reverb that was applied to the vocal on the rest of the track. I think it's still quite apparent. We're obviously planning to re-record the vocal track in the future, but to get it to sound as close to the finished project as possible, ducking out a bunch of that reverb was really, really useful here. Uh, in addition to that, moving along the channel strip did add a bit of, of uh, one knob side changes, which is just ducking on an LFO to the quarter note. In addition to that, just threw on a bit of delay and uh, mostly just two different delays. I have a long delay and a short delay, and then also ran her voice through a little bit of a saturator. Um, and the idea here, like I've mentioned in previous videos, is by running all these tracks through the same delay and the same saturator, you're kind of gluing things together, putting things in the same space, uh, which can kind of help quite a bit. So this is kind of the processing that went into this. 
and it's super cool to compare it to the mix that has delay and reverb and everything and uh, going through that process and bringing it into here it's pretty awesome to be able to do that and get a lot closer to the final product by uh, isolating the vocal and chucking it into the mix and that is how easy it can be to extract vocal stem from a recording that might be a little dodgy maybe mixed on properly or have a bunch of noise in it so that you can actually use that vocal stem in your project and take your projects to the next level again there's only three simple steps you just need to upload that audio to lala.ai then you choose the correct stem separation algorithm that you want to use and then throw it into your DAW make sure the timing is correct you can do a bit of EQ a little bit of adding your own delay reverb you can also use transient designers which we did in this tutorial to kind of cut out some of the extra reverb or to kind of tighten up the recording a little bit as well so if you'd like to get started with vocal separation vocal extraction vocal isolation all that kind of stuff or apply this kind of technique to separate separate guitars out separate drums out any kind of individual element make sure you hit up the link in the description or visit lala.ai so you can get started with this today that said i've been matt from best friends club and you've been the best i'll see you in the next video my friend like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you found it useful See you in the next one.